Welcome to this class. This session we are going to state without proof the Kachi's integral formula and do an example to illustrate how the formula works. So, uh, Kachi's integral formula. Uh, say formulas, there are two of them, one for function, one for derivative. So we'll set the formulas and then apply them. So if f of z is analytic, inside and on the boundary the function f of z is analytic inside and on a simple curve C and that A is any point inside C. Then the value of the function. At that point, A is given by the formula F at A is equals to one over two pi times i integral along c of f of z divided by z minus a dz. So that is Koch's formula for finding the value of the function at a point A if the function is analytic inside and on a simple closed curve C. So call this one formula one. That's for the value of the function, but you can also get the value of a derivative at a point A. So the nth derivative of f of z at z equals to A is given by the formula and derivative at a equals to n factorial divided by 2 pi i and then integral along C, f of z 
divided by z minus a raised to our n plus one dz. So this is a Cauchy's integral formula involving the derivative of a function at a point A where A is either on a closed simple curve C or is within this closed curve C. So I'll call this formula two. So note that formula one is just a special case of formula two when you set N to zero. So that's when you get formula one. So let's do an example to illustrate how formula one works. This example. Evaluate the integral. So integrating from so on this curve C of the function sine pi z squared plus cos pi z squared z minus two z minus one dz. So this integral can be easily done if you know the statement for Cauchy's integral formula. So what you are going to do is to rewrite this function to take, to take the same form as what we have in the general definition. So solution, first, So first we decompose, <coughs> first we know that the function f of z in this case is what we have as sine pi z squared plus cosine pi z squared. So we decompose, one over z minus two, z minus one into partial fractions. Remember what is motivating us to say this is because we know that the coaches integral formula says that f at a is one over two pi i integral f of z, z minus a, and then dz. So you just need one fraction here, which is linear. So we have to do decomposition into partial fractions. And so you should be able to tell that from this formula, the integral along C of f of z over <coughs> z minus a, just cross multiply, you have two pi i times f at a. So this is really what we need to use to find the value of the integral. <coughs> so, one over z minus two, z minus one, we let it to be a over z minus two plus b over z minus one.
So the LCM is Z minus two, Z minus one. So we'll have A into Z minus one plus B into Z minus two. This is just a process of finding partial fractions. So it tells us that one must be equivalent to A into Z minus one plus B into Z minus two. So to get A, we fix B for zero, uh, B for two, so that, uh, Z for two, so that the part that has B goes to zero. Or you can use any other method that you wish on how to do that decomposition. So which means we'll have one equals to, so two minus one is eight. And then when we let Z to be uh, one, so we'll not have the A part. So it means that one equals to minus B. So B is negative one. So this is what we'll have. So therefore now going back to our integral. So this means that integral along C of F of Z over Z minus two, Z minus one, Z will be the integral along C of now F of Z multiplied by, so remember this is the same as one over Z minus two <coughs> minus one over Z minus one and then dz. So remember this is just the same as one over this denominator. So this is Z not X. So this will be integral. So F of Z and then over Z minus two, dZ minus integral F of Z divided by Z minus one. I'm simply supplying integral and f of z to each of these two terms in the brackets and then apply dz. So this is the integral f of z dz over z minus two times z minus one. This tells us that we'll have two integrals. So we have integral one and then integral two. So integral one, which is integral f of z, z minus two, Z. Now you remember here from general definition, that by Koch's integral formula, F at A is the same as one over two pi I times the integral along C of F of Z over Z minus A dZ. And then if you make the integral the subject, then you simply multiply both sides by two pi i f of a. So therefore, 
this integral, it should be clear that our a for this case is two. So that we have two pi i f a is two. So remember uh, f of z in this question was given by sine pi z squared minus uh, plus cos pi z squared. So which means that when we say f at two, we simply replace where the z by two. So we'll have sine. So two squared is four. So the same as four pi plus two squared is also four cos four pi. So I e the first integral I one will be the integral along C of f of z, which is sine pi z squared plus cos pi z squared divided by z minus two dz will be equals to two pi i f of two is given by sine four pi plus cosine of four pi, which will be sine of four pi is zero. So we'll have two pi i into zero, and then cos of four pi is one. So the answer will be just two pi i, the first one. I two is the integral along C of f of z over z minus one dz. And then by definition, I2, if we have integral along C, f of z, z minus one dz. Actually this by definition is given by two pi i f at one. So this would be two pi, cos our a is one, i into, so remember the function f of z is sine phi z squared plus cosine phi z squared. So when you put one, so one squared is one, so just the same as sine phi plus cos pi. So sine pi zero. And then cosine of pi negative one. So this will give us negative two pi i. But remember, we had the full integral, which is integral of sine pi z squared plus cosine pi z squared over z minus two, z minus one dz was given by i1 minus i2. You see uh, at this point here, at this point here, we had after decomposing into partial fractions. So we had uh, this integral is given by this one minus the other one. So this is what we let to be I1. And then this is what we load, let to be I2. So the sign in between them is minus. That's why we have minus there. 
So we'll have two pi i minus minus. This other one is two pi i minus minus is plus. So therefore, the answer will be four pi i. So that's the solution to that given integral. So thank you.